Heavenly Father, we just thank you, thank you, thank you for another day of life, Father. We thank you for all that you continue to do for us, Father. We thank you, thank you, thank you for saving us, Father, for setting us free, Father, for sanctifying us, Father, for filling us with your precious Holy Ghost, Father. Father, we ask you right now, Father, that you continue to move amongst your people, Father. We ask you right now, Father, that we need a touch from you today, Father, that you touch us right now, Father. One touch from you, Father, will save us, Father. One touch from you to remove depression, Father. One touch from you, Father, remove anxiety, Father. One touch from you, Father, to remove the stress, Father, that everyone is going through right now, Father. We just thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Father, we're just asking right now that you touch our hearts and our minds, Father, so that we may be open to receive your word, Father, so that we may let it penetrate our hearts, Father. Father, we're asking right now that you forgive us right now, Father, for all of our sins, all the things we thought, said, and did, Father, didn't bring glory and honor to your name, Father, and more importantly, was hurtful to others, Father, forgive us right now, Father. Help us to be in right standing with you, Father, so our prayers will be heard, Father, and nothing will be hindering it, Father. We just thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Father, we're asking that you watch over the leaders of Solid Rock, Father. Continue to bless our elders, our ministers, the, the missionaries, the deacons and deaconesses, Father. Watch over the leaders of this church, Father. Continue to bless our pastor and our first lady, Father. Continue to meet their needs according to your riches and glory, Father. Have your way right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Father, we need a touch from you, Father. We need to be filled once again, Father. Fill us with your precious Holy Ghost on today, Father. Oh, pour out your spirit upon us, Father. Those that haven't been filled, Father, fill right now, Father. Those that have been filled, refill today, Father. We can never get enough of your power, Father. We need you right now, Father. Move on our behalf, Father. We just thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, for all you continue to do, Father, for all the blessings, Father. Father, we just ask you right now, Father, that you touch our speaker on today, Father. Let the words that he speaks penetrate our hearts and our minds, Father, so that we can be better saints and better servants of yours, Father. Father, we thank you for all things. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. God bless you. Today's reading is coming from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 18. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Putting on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wild of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take ye unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand in, in the evil days. And having all done to stand. Stand therefore having your lungs girded with the truth. And having the breath made of righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And taking on the shield of faith. Which ye shall be able to quench the fiery darkness of the wicked taking the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, in which therefore with all perseverance supplication for all saints.
Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor. joining Solid Rock Church of God in Christ as we worship the Lord on this Lord's Day uh, in the month of June. Now, what I want to do is encourage each of us today that we should sow into ministry, partner with the Solid Rock Church as we move forward to bless the lives of so many people. Glory to God, I want you to know that each week we feed about 300 families with groceries and we're uh, doing all we can to bless in our community. And so we need your help to do that. The word of the Lord is going to be powerful today, but before he sows into us the word of the Lord, I'm going to ask you to sow into ministry today. Sow your tithes and your offerings. Partner with us, amen, as we are here to do the Lord's work in the earth. You can give with Cash App, give the five. You can give with PayPal, or you can simply mail in your checks and uh, cashier's checks to 5970 Thornton Avenue, Newark, California, 94560. Well, God bless you. We thank you very much. The Bible does tell us, given it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. 
So I want to encourage you, as you bless the house of the Lord and partner with this ministry, God is going to partner with you and bless everything that concerns you. God bless you. Welcome to Salabar Church of God in Christ, Newark, California, Tracy, California, where Superintendent Gerald K. Simpkins is the pastor and First Lady Sheila Ann Simpkins is the First Lady. Worship service at 11.30 a.m. on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Join us on Zoom for Bible study, Sunday school at 10.15, Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Prayer Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 noon, Tuesday and Thursday at 6 a.m. in the morning. Solid Rock Youth Bible Study. Join the youth and young adults on Zoom for a creative, engaging, and fun space where Solid Rock youth are learning who God is for ourselves. We are on Zoom Sunday mornings at 10.15 a.m. for Sunday school and Tuesday evenings at 7.30 p.m. for Bible study. There are classes for every age group. Parents, email Solid Rock e Club at yahoo.com for your child's Zoom classroom information. Or contact our youth leaders, Elder Andre Daniels or Deaconess Nicole Daniels. Calling all brothers, Solid Rock Man of Valor presents Man Cave every second and fourth Monday at 7 p.m. A private sanctuary where, where men sharpen men sharing life experiences. Thursday mornings, fresh bread with Superintendent Gerald K. Simpkins Sr. Every Thursday at 10 a.m. on Facebook Live. Wow. Beauty for Ashes. Ladies, yes. Let's get together for a powerful exchange of experiences and encouragement and hear what God has to say about it all. Join the Solid Rock Women of Excellence on the first Tuesday of each month at 6 p.m. on the Solid Rock Zoom line. For more information, please contact Missionary Adrian Bennett. Solid Rock Church of God in Christ Youth Department presents The Next Generation, Aiming Higher, Growing Stronger, Seeing Further, Friday, June 26 at 7 p.m. on our Zoom channel just do it please join us in your nike gear as we worship jesus christ through praise worship and the word of god our youth and young adults of flame hour will be 6 p.m to 7 p.m come out support our youth and young adults can't wait to see you there these are your announcements govern yourselves accordingly I give myself away, oh, oh, oh Lord, so you, here I am, here I am, here I stand, Lord, my life, Lord, my Lord, I'm longing, Lord, I'm longing to your desire, your desire. Come on, tell him. I give, I give myself away. Oh, oh Lord. So you. Can you use me? Tell him again. I give myself to it. Oh, 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 Lord. So you take my heart, take my life as a living sacrifice. Tell him all of my dreams, all of my plans. Tell him, Lord, I place him in your hand.
I'm going to tell him I give, I give myself. Oh, 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 oh Lord. So you can use me. Tell him again, I give myself. My life is not my own, to you I belong, I give myself, I give myself to you, can you tell him my life is not my own? again my life is not my own oh to you nobody but you give myself yeah. my life is not my own to you to you give myself Glory. I give myself, I give myself, oh, oh, Lord, hallelujah, so you, our Father and our God, the creator of all mankind, Father, your servant stand behind this sacred desk to decree and declare your divine word unto a ready people. Father, give us an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Give us a receptive heart, a receptive mind to receive what thus said the Lord. Father, allow your servant to speak with clarity and with understanding. Let your anointing be upon me, in me, and through me, for it is the anointing that destroys the yoke, that set captives free. Father, move by your Spirit in a very special way in this room. Bind every fault finding spirit, cast the work of the enemy out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But let your word, God, permeate throughout God this sanctuary and through virtual media today. They sit in their homes and around the table. Whatever they're doing, driving in their car, speak, Lord, for thy servant here and father we'll give it back to you in praise in thy son jesus the christ name we pray thank god and amen clap your hands wherever you are and give god a shout of praise god bless you dear hearts and certainly may heaven smile upon you i want to say that we will do communion very soon our order is on the way Amen. And we was hoping that it would be here by today. But he says, often that you do it, do it unto me in remembrance of me. Amen. So as soon as we get them in, we will uh, do holy communion. God bless you, dear hearts, and certainly may heaven smile upon you. Let's see what the Lord would say to us on this first Sunday in the month of June. It's found in Haggai, the first chapter. Verses 5 through 7, then Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 16, I believe, unto 25. A little lengthy today in Scripture, but there's a word from the Lord. Hey God, the first chapter, verse 5 through 7, this is the word of the Lord unto the people of the Lord. Now, therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. Ye clothes you, but there is none warm. 
And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with hold. Thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Galatians, the fifth chapter, beginning at verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and sh ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary with the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye are led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, adultery, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolation, wrath, strife, Sedition, heresy, envy, murder, drunkenness, reveling, and such like of this which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affection, with the affliction, with the affection and lust. And we live in the spirit. Let us also walk in the spirit. May God have a blessing to the reader and hears of his divine word. I want to talk to you this brief as the Lord would allow this the Lord's day. Consider your ways. Consider your ways. Ask your neighbor, if you will, or ask yourself, are you walking with the evidence of the Holy Ghost? Subtopic, are you walking with the evidence of the Holy Ghost? Consider your ways. Think about carefully. Be drawn towards. Consider how you are living. You Call yourself a child of God, but consider how you are living. People of God, these are truly the last and evil days. Each and every day, I don't know about you, but I see the sign of judgment approaching more and more. The Bible says in St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, the 12th and the 13th verses, informed us, and because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. People of God, this is uh, the time that we all examine ourselves and to consider our ways. And to know without a shadow of doubt that we have the evidence of the spirit of 
God dwelling on the inside and that we are daily surrendering to the will of God in our lives. This message, my sisters and brothers, uh, this message, people of God, is one that should cause each and every one of us to examine ourselves. Ah, we cannot examine, we cannot afford to judge, we cannot afford to examine nobody else but our own self concerning that we bear the Holy Spirit of God. My sisters and my brothers, some of God's commandments we find very easy to follow. And yes, missionary Garnett, there are some that is a little more difficult for us to faithfully follow. But God, God has given us a command that is explicit in the standard. He expects us to live by each and every day. And these scriptures are found both in the Old and New Testament. For Leviticus 11 and 14, Leviticus 20 and 26, and in 1 Peter 1 and 16, you must be holy because I, the Lord, am holy. Yes, people of God, we must be holy. God is holy. A holy God. My sisters and brothers, there, there are things God, hear me today, there are things that God wants to build in you. Yes, there are things that God wants to do for you. But sister Cameron, too many times we tie God's hands because of our ways. Can I say it again? There are things God wants to build in each and every one of us. There are things that God wants to do just for you. Yes, I'm talking to you. But many times, we tie God's hands because of the way we live. Hear me if you will today. Those of us that are at the greatest risk of the ones who grew up in the church. Let me say that again. Those of us that are at the greatest risk of the ones who grew up in the church. I, I, I often uh, uh, hear and, and, and accept uh, what Ella Garnett tells me. He said, see, I, 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 I didn't come up in the church. So I don't, he said, I can't help but to be real because I don't know the clicks. I don't know uh, the game. I don't know the trickery that people play. And I love that about him. But the, but the greatest risk is us, those of us who grew up in the church. Our greatest risk is because most of us have become unteachable. Most Christians are guilty. We're guilty of only believing what they have heard and not what they have read for themselves. We are guilty of not really studying, seeking revelation knowledge from God and not from reading the word of God for ourselves so that God would give us the right interpretation of his divine word when the man or woman of God is preaching we ought to have our pen and paper in our hands taking notes and going home and, and doing our research of what has been said yes I know many of you don't like it but we're all guilty of just receiving whatever comes out of the mouth of the man or woman of God who stands behind such a sacred desk, declaring the word of the Lord. 
The Bible tells us in the book of Hosea. Uh, chapter 4, somewhere around Jordan, the 6th verse. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. How to one reject knowledge? Well, I'm glad you asked. By not getting into the word of God for yourself. Getting knowledge is more than hearing the preacher. It's by praying and asking God to give you the revelation knowledge of his divine word. My sisters and my brothers, as I stated before many times, as believers, we tie God's hand because of our ways. There's people who God because we grew up and around the church. We shouldn't let our experience inoculate us from the present reality of his present. Can I say that again? I said because most of us grew up in and around the church. We shouldn't let our experience inoculate us from the present reality of his present. God is forever moving. Oh, blessed to be the name of the Lord. My people, my sisters and my brother, knowing, hear me right along in here, knowing about God and knowing God are two different things. Can I say that again? I said knowing about God and knowing God are two different things. Some of us only know about God because of our forefathers, mothers told us. But we don't know him for ourselves. Do you know him as a deliverer? Do you know him as a healer? Do you know him as a provider for you? Can I preach this morning? We must always, we must always, brother Terrence, we must always be ready to learn and to serve. Think, if you will, think of the value you have for God's kingdom. Spiritual arrogance, spirit, spiritual arrogance can sideline us if we are not careful. Consider your ways. Are you walking? Are, are you walking with the evidence of the Holy Ghost in you? Being a true child of God means that we not only hear the word of God, but we respond accordingly. Being a true child of God means that we not only hear the word of God, but we become doers of the word of God. If you don't believe me, James said, James goes, James said, be doers of the word and not hearers only. My sisters and my brothers, in the America church, we have a lot of listeners, but not enough doers of God's divine word. Can I say that again? In the America church, we have a lot of listeners, but not enough doers of God's divine word. In the life, in the life of each child of God, our lives should be full of markers. Pressures indicators of our walk with God. The question to the body of believers today is, are you walking in, walking with the evidence of the Holy Ghost? Those that are listening, those that's in the sanctuary, you are the only one can answer that question. Are you walking with the evidence of the Holy Ghost. The meaning, the meaning of the word evidence. Evidence is the availability or the ability 
body of facts or information indicating whether a belief, a proposition is true or valid. Evidence is the available body of facts or information indicating whether a belief or proposition is true or valid. My sisters and my brothers, when, when our text in Galatians gives us a choice that makes us ask the question like, do I embrace or do I dismiss evaluating my walk according to the word of the writer in Galatians, which is called the works of the flesh. Glory to the Lamb of God. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, adultery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolation, wit, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy, envy, murder, drunkenness, reveling, and such like of this which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Consider your ways. My sisters and brothers, the works of the flesh are very strong demonic forces that should not be named among us as children of God. When the Bible talks about considering your ways, consider means to think about or set your heart upon. Here in the Haggai text, Haggai prophesied during the reign of King Darius. He prophesied about the need to rebuild the temple. Can I work the text? The people were saying the time has not come even the time for the house of the Lord to be revealed. Ah, so Sakari, the people were making excuses. Even when the man of God was telling them it was time to rebuild the temple. My sisters and my brothers, why were they saying it wasn't time? It could have, it could have been because the opposition the experience before. Whatever the reason was, God told them, consider your ways. God has always, God had already determined that it was time for his house to be rebuilt. Too often my sisters and my brothers, God's people are, are quick to make excuses as to why they or why we, if you will, cannot engage in spiritual work. I believe that God is getting the attention of the church. And for the church to reveal, hear me here, our relationship with God. Let me say that again. I know what the text was talking about. They was talking about building a physical, rebuilding a physical building for God. But I believe in the last and evil days that God is getting the attention of the church. And for the church to rebuild our relationship with him. I also believe that not only the church attention God is getting, but I believe that God is getting the attention of the world to choose Ye this day whom ye will serve. Consider your ways. Stop making 
excuses why you can't live holy. Stop making excuses why you can't study the word of God. Yes, I believe that God is getting the attention of the church. Somebody shout, I am the church. I believe that God is getting our attention to let go of the flesh and to walk in the spirit of God. Uh, I know it was Paul that said, when I would to do evil, to, when I would to do good, evil is right there every step of the way. But God is saying to the church, I would that you were hot or cold. I would that you were in or out. I want you to choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. I'm getting uh, the church attention and telling the church, consider your ways. Uh, think about what you are doing and how you are living. Uh, God, get, God wants us to get our priority in order. And choose ye this day whom we will serve. I stopped by on my way to heaven uh, to let the people of God know that God is calling for us to embrace his promises. Yes, we as people of God ought to be living responsive to the move of God. God is forever moving. He's forever transcending us. God is shifting the atmosphere in our society. And if I were you, I will not miss the shift. I will not miss what God is doing in these last and evil days. If I were you as a child of the king, I would consider my ways. I would consider building or rebuilding a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Not only just a relationship, but Sister Cameron Warren that is pleasing to God. Lift your hands and say yeah. Yes, we as the church, we as God's children, we ought to be illuminated with the fruit of the spirit. Yes, we ought to exemplify the characteristics of Jesus himself. We ought to be illuminated each and every day, every hour, every moment of the day with the fruit of the spirit which yields somebody say the evidence it is the evidence of the Holy Ghost lift your hand and say yeah as I look for an exit out of here my question to you great people of God are you walking with the evidence of the Holy Ghost are you living a life that is pleasing to God well man of God will you please tell us what is the evidence of the spirit well my sisters and my brothers the evidence of the spirit is the fruit of the spirit I didn't say fruits but I said the fruit of the spirit love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance against such there is no law I want to know today do 
you love uh, unconditionally? Uh, do you have uh, the love of God uh, that is blind? Uh, do you have uh, the love uh, that covers uh, a multitude uh, of sin? Uh, do you love uh, your neighbor? Uh, as I say, uh, the word of God say, uh, for with love uh, and kindness uh, have I drawn thee. Uh, I feel uh, like preaching. Uh, do you have the joy uh, of the Lord? Uh, the joy uh, of the Lord uh, is our strength. Uh, when you're weak, uh, all you got to do, uh, like the Bible said, uh, is begin to leap, uh, leap for joy, uh, for joy uh, is our strength. Uh, the Bible uh, encourages us uh, that weeping uh, may endure uh, for a night, uh, but joy uh, will come uh, in the morning. Uh, yeah, I stopped by uh, on my way to heaven uh, and said, child uh, of God, uh, hold on, uh, hang on in there, uh, trouble uh, will last all way, uh, but joy, uh, yeah, joy, uh, come in the morning, uh, let me move on, uh, do you uh, have peace, uh, that peace, uh, that surpass it, uh, all understanding, uh, do you have peace, uh, that, trans that transcend, uh, do you have the peace, uh, that the world uh, cannot give, uh, and the world uh, can't take it away, uh, sometimes, uh, people of God, uh, we let the cares uh, of this world uh, get next to her. Uh, but I want you to know uh, Jesus uh, has given us a peace uh, that the world uh, did not kill uh, and the world uh, can't take it away. Uh, we ought not to allow uh, trouble uh, on every hand uh, disturb uh, our peace uh, because God uh, has given the church uh, such a peace uh, that surpasses uh, all understanding. Uh, say it. Uh, say it. Do you have long suffering? Can you be patient with me in spite of my situation? Can you be patient in spite of the trouble that's in the land? Do you have long suffering in spite of the unrest in your life? The unrest that's in your neighborhood, the unrest that's in the world. Can you have long suffering in spite of unrest, especially when it's caused by somebody else? Child of the king, do you have gentleness? Can you be kind one to the other? Can you be kind to those that's not in your clique or your inner circle? Can you, child of God, be tenderhearted and mount manner toward your enemy? Can I say that again? I said, can you be kind to others that's not in your clique or your inner circle? Can you, child of God, 
God. Be tender hearted and my manner to your enemy. Love your enemy. Do good to them that despitefully use you. Can God trust you? I said, church, can God, can he trust you with his spirit dwelling on the inside? Say it. Yeah. Say it. Yeah. For the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 4 and 7, hear the word of the Lord. But we have Sister Joan, this treasure in earthen vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We have a precious anointed treasure in this clay body that the power may be of God. Are we walking? Are you walking with the evidence of the Holy Ghost? Do you have goodness inside of you? Do you have the quality of being morally good? Of virtues is goodness. I feel my help. I say his goodness and mercy following you all the days of your life. Goodness is not about doing elaborate things to gain recognition. I got to say it again, Sister Gordon. I said goodness is not about doing elaborate things to gain recognition of time. My sisters and my brothers, it is a small act of goodness we do throughout our day that mean the most of those around us. Do you? I'm going through the fruit of the Spirit. Do you have faith? Where is your faith in God? Faith is the substance of things hopeful for. The evidence of things not seen. Faith, church, faith, my sisters and my brothers. Faith is complete trust in God. Let me drop this bomb on you with that faith. Yeah, with that faith. It is impossible to please God for he that cometh to God. You got to believe that he is and that he is a reward, a deal that diddly seek him. Do you have meekness? Can you be submissive one to another? Are you submissive when you've been corrected? Can you accept with meekness the rebuke of others? Oh Lord, do you have temperance? Can you control yourself from indulging in something that's not of God? Child of God, consider your way. Are you walking with the evidence of the Holy Ghost? Say yeah, say yeah, say yeah. People of God, people of God, don't let. Uh, 
things uh, distract you uh, from being completely uh, controlled uh, by the Holy Ghost. Uh, people of God, uh, when we uh, are in the flesh, uh, we are out of control, uh, even uh, without alcohol, uh, because uh, we are not controlled uh, by God, uh, but God uh, is calling uh, for the church uh, to consider uh, your ways. Uh, God uh, is calling uh, for you uh, and me, the church, uh, to be filled uh, with the Spirit. Uh, God uh, is calling uh, for me and you, uh, the church, uh, to be filled uh, with the Holy Ghost. Uh, you a question uh, that only you uh, and God knows uh, the answer to. Uh, are you walking uh, with the evidence uh, of the Holy Ghost? Uh, do you have uh, the spirit uh, of God in you? Uh, if you do, uh, lift your hand. Uh, say yeah. Say yeah. yeah. to close uh, yeah leave you uh, in the hands uh, of the Lord uh, but greater victory uh, temple church of God in Christ uh, people of God uh, God uh, is calling for us uh, to simplify uh, oh Lord uh, the spirit uh, of God uh, that's in us uh, yeah you cannot possess the spirit of God and have no control over your tongue. You cannot possess the spirit of God and walk in disobedience. God has called us to let our light, let it shine, that men may see our good work and God be glorified lift your hand say yeah say yeah 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 look at somebody as I begin to take my seat look at somebody and say neighbor consider your way think about regard how you're living is your light shining are you being an example of Christ say it consider consider your ways think about turn your heart to the way that you're living that many people Ella Bush saying they're living right but their heart are so far from the Lord there are people claiming to be a child of God, but their lifestyle does not line up with the Word of God. There are people, Sister Webb, that go to church, and some don't even go to church, but because they don't know God for themselves, are on their way to hell through the church. God has called us to be different from the world. Even as I spoke last week, it's not about how many tongues you speak in, but do you have love, joy, peace, long suffering? Can you be patient with the one that have not yet made it to the level that you are? 
Can you be kind? Do you have faith? Is the side of a grain of a mustard seed that can move mountains? You have temperance. This is the evidence of the Spirit of God. And there ever been a time that we, the church, not me, not you only, but me, we, the church, examine our walk with God, that time is now. To examine what, is my, what are my motives? Why did I even name the name of the Lord and know that I'm going to cut somebody out tomorrow? Why? When I have hatred in my heart, I can't forgive talking to the church and I know people get mad but I'm going to say this one more time because the Bible is right people get mad right along here everybody that die are not going to heaven the Bible judges in these last few years I ain't seen nobody go to heaven rest in heaven the life is not lined up with the word of God let me tell you something the Bible right God created hell for Satan and his angels but hell has enlarged itself because we refuse to walk with God it's tight but it's right The Word of God judges us. People are like, we don't judge. Read the Bible. We judge through the Word of God. Those work of the flesh, if you get caught in them, you will not go to heaven. So don't believe the hype. God is a just God. He's a fair God. But he gives us the choice to choose. Ye this day, while the blood is running warm in your vein and you are closed in your right mind, he gives us the opportunity to choose him. You cannot live any kind of way, not serve God. Yeah, that's a, there is a such thing as backsliding. There is no such thing of turning away from God. And if you don't turn back to God, when you die in hell shall you lift up your eyes. The Bible is right, people. It could be mama, it could be dad, it could be sister, it could be brother, uncle, auntie. The Bible is right. Consider your ways. Rebuild or build a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm getting ready to pray, but I, I see the sign. And if you read your Bibles, you all see the sign of judgment. God is soon to come. We cannot afford to miss heaven. We cannot afford to miss what God is doing in these last in evil days. If I were you, I didn't know God, I'll give Jesus my heart. And if I were you, I knew him, but my relationship with him has been broken. I rebuild my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Bow your heads. Our Father, and our God, thank you for this word, telling us to consider our ways, build or rebuild a relationship, a genuine, a true relationship with you. A relationship not only when things are good, but even in bad times. Even in the midst of unrest in our lives and in the lives of this world. Father, look upon 
everyone that have heard your word today. You said your word will not return unto you void, but will accomplish that which you sent it to do. Unstop our ears that we may receive and become doers of your word. Let each and every one of us, Father, examine ourselves today. Do we have the evidence of the Holy Spirit? Do we have the evidence of the Holy Ghost? Do we have the fruit of the Spirit dwelling in us? And God, those areas that we're lacking, fill us up. Give us the love, the joy, the peace, the long suffering. Give us gentleness. Give us faith. Give us temperance. Give us meekness, God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us in this perverted world. Help us, God, to lean on you and trust you even the more. Bless everyone, God, that we hear this word. Everyone that we will regurgitate this word. That will meditate on this word. That will trust this word. For Father, this word came to each and every one of us individually. For us to examine ourselves. Examine our walk with you. Now let the words of my mouth Meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. This we ask in thy son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Thank God and amen. Put your sanctified hands together and bless ye the Lord. God bless you, dear hearts. My God, what a powerful, enriching, empowering word we just received from Pastor Ron Brick. The Greater Victory Temple Church in Seaside. My God, that man of God broke with us the bed of life and encouraged us to stand on our faith in God. We have power to defeat the attacks of the enemy. And so today, I want to encourage all of you, every one of you, to stand on your faith in God. If there's an illness attacking your body, you have power to speak to that thing in the name of Jesus and declare, it's got to go. It's been evicted. If there's depression that's trying to enter into your home, or maybe he's already affecting your life, glory to God, I want you to stand in the power of God and ask God to deliver you from that and be the lifter of your head. Glory to God. I know that God's word is real, it's true, and it's forever. So just as he healed in the Old Testament, he'll do it in your life today. God bless you today. Now, we look forward to seeing you on Tuesday night at Bible study, 7 o'clock on the Zoom line. And then come back and join us, glory to God, on Thursday morning. I'll share a little bit with you uh, called Fresh Bread. It starts on Thursday at 10 a.m. And we talk about 10 minutes, just an inspirational word. Glory to God. Uh, I do want to encourage you that every day during the week, Monday through Friday, there's prayer going on with the Solid Rock Church. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at noon, and uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 a.m. You don't have to let a day go by without calling on the name of the Lord. God bless you. We'll see you again next Sunday, same time. Be blessed of the Lord.